Uh, now you know, I've spoken with Sean a number of times, and I'm excited to finally get started today. Uh, you know, get this project underway. And uh, I don't know if you sent me the links yeah, or not of my other previous work of the, the Candle Maker documentary yeah. and the documentary about the documentary about the kid who made the cardboard arcade in, in, uh, in LA. But uh, now it's time to make a documentary about you guys. Uh, which is pretty exciting, you know. Um, Stents is going to be shooting constantly. Uh, you know, feel free to look at the camera, talk to the camera, or just be yourself and ignore the camera. Either way, I want you guys to be in your comfort zone to make this the best documentary that we can make. Bob Dylan had Don't Look Back, but uh, you know, you guys are going to have Let's Look Forward to seeing the band Why. Why? Because you guys are the most interesting band, I think, going on right now. I mean, the combination of rock and your dope rhymes is just, you know, no one else is doing that. And uh, plus Magdalena um, is an A-plus producer. Uh, she's going to be covering all the loose ends. Uh, it's a documentary about you. It's just you guys being you, uh, telling your rock and roll lifestyle, you know. And uh, I'm excited to get started. Cool. So, uh, stage antics. Tell me about some of your cra the most crazy stage antics you've heard. I can't say that we have got. Well, that one time I, I tossed a shaker at Josiah and it hit him in the face. So you hit Josiah in the face? Classic. Yeah. Yeah, accidentally. It left a little bruise, a little cut. Not just physically, but inside also. No, it was an accident. Shake so right up. Is that typically how it goes? Yoni tries to tries to be slick, and other people get hurt in the process. <laughs> no. No, it was it was funny. I I think it was. Yoni, funny. I'm sorry. Can you just turn your chair around real quick for me? Turn my chair just around. Turn, just turn your chair all the way around. Uh, wouldn't that be a little inconducive? Why want you to face me? Just sort of like AC Slater at He's the max. You, just you like turn around. Dwayne Wayne from turn oh, like Dwayne Wayne. Style. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you just do all that right. for me before we get in fully into it's it. A little there. awkward, but all right. There you go. Like kind of the, you know, the front man. Um, so Josiah is married. So how difficult is that for you when you're on the road with all the other ladies, all the Actually, groupies? Lately, Liz has been coming on the road. Um, oh, I bet she has if she's with you. Well. <laughs> and Doug, uh, I mean, obviously Liz is now in the family with the wolves, uh, and you still not a wolf. Right, only non-wolf. <laughs> only non-wolf in the group. How does that make you feel, being um, sort of the outsider? The well, inside? not really outsider. I mean, we've, we've all been friends for over 10 years, so it's... But does it make you feel like an outsider on the inside? I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, the, the drugs, the you know, the lifestyle of the road, um, how much does that affect you? Uh, don't, I, don't, I don't do drugs at all. I'm sorry, Doug, could you, you came in with sunglasses on, could you put those on for me? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I guess so. It just looks a lot, it'd be awesome if you put those on. Awesome. Yeah, definitely cover up the, you know, hangover look or whatever, which is, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm not hungover. I have a little cold, but. Oh. Good what way. about the drugs? I, we don't. I used to smoke weed in high school, but that's about it. I mean, I don't. Really with other with other high schoolers. Yeah. So you smoke weed with high schoolers? No, not not now. I mean, when I. Well, we're doing an interview now, so time. obviously not. Sorry, what's the What's the new album about? Uh, just like any other album, it's about just life and addiction. No. About the hard times and hard times. whatever, you know. Well, tell me about the hard times. Everybody goes through hard times, and I, I just I write about them, and you know whatever. But it's not. It's hard to talk about. I <laughs> know it's not even that. I I don't I don't know what you want me to say. Like I. I just want I just want look, I just I I, I, I want just I write whatever comes. Speak to the me truth. I I am trying to speak the truth, but. Seems like you're trying to lead me in a direction that I don't I don't really relate to. Like I, I I can bring you to Oz, but I can't make you walk down the Yellow Brick Road. That's up to you. Here. Well if you want to feel more comfortable during the interview, I can actually this would be great. We should have done this earlier. What are you talking about? This would actually be a lot better. If Doug, if you wouldn't mind, just hold that. <laughs> okay. No way. And then just uh, if you can just hold this, that might make you feel more comfortable. So you're not just stuck with the drums all the time. Let's just get the next question. Uh, time out. Um, basically, this is going rad. Okay, um, everything's awesome. Um, we're gonna. Th I think we should take like a five minute break just to reset, so Stents can, uh, you know, change tape, whatever he needs to do. Uh, Megalyn and I are gonna go uh, pow out just for a minute, and we'll get right back to it. Cool. Is 
that sw stints? Is that like Scandinavian or something or? But that's not even like the biggest problem. The problem is like they're like all their answers are boring. Might as well call the whole documentary boring. You guys getting hungry? Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? So like we need to put our thinking caps on or whatever and like like think of an idea with our caps on and come up with something so this isn't so, you know, boring. Get to thinking, this, this needs to be far more interesting than this. I don't know, are there any like pictures of Yoni's dick on Facebook or something? Like. Are there any like, like psycho ex-girlfriends or anything like that that make it more interesting? I'm gonna put this down.